Before we get started on Photoshop training, I just wanted to show you a few more things. The first is the separations preview panel in Illustrator. This shows you what inks you're currently working with. So if you turn off CMYK, and in fact, if you turn off all the other colors you're not using, it should not make a difference to your artwork because you should really only be working with the three or four spot colors of your choice. So as long as you keep them visible, then your whole artwork should be visible. Another thing is if you go to the swatches panel and you select all unused, you should be able to trash all your unused colors and not see a difference. And this should help you keep your spot colors organized and make sure you're only using the three or four spot colors of your choice. I found a few color charts online which will hopefully be helpful for you in predicting overprinting color effects. And I'll just show you how to use these charts. These are made by a different Rizo printing company, Paper Pusher, and they're based in Toronto. So what this shows you is that the horizontal bars are at 35% opacity and the vertical bars are at 65% opacity. So everything along this diagonal is 100% percent opacity of the pure color in this order. So this is 100% yellow, 100% pink, 100% red, and so forth and so on. So let's see how to read this. 35% yellow horizontal plus 65% yellow vertical gives you 100% yellow. Next box is 35% yellow with a 65% 65% pink. The next one over is 35% yellow with 65% red. So really everything along this row is at 35% with 65% running through it. So let's try pink. This would be 35% pink with 65% yellow. This is 35% pink, 65% pink for 100% pure pink. Next one over is 35% pink and 65% red. So you're you starting to catch the drift, hopefully. Um, let's go over to blue. So this will show you 35% blue with 65% yellow, 35% blue, 65% pink, 35% blue, 65% red. And this right here, this right here should be pure blue. This just shows you all the pure colors at 100% opacity and what they look like with decreasing opacity levels. So hopefully that's helpful to you. This is a color chart showing all the Rizo colors because the one I showed you previously is not all the 13 colors that are available in color code, so you can match it up here if there's a color you want to use that that you didn't see in the previous chart. So this has some um, similar to which Pantone uncoded color. So hopefully this will be helpful to you in seeing more of what the colors look like. And lastly, I'll upload another color chart which shows you the different colors interacting with each other at 100%, 75%, 50%, and 25%. And also the decreasing opacity levels. So hopefully that's helpful and I'll see you in the next video for the Photoshop piece.